All right, lesson four, combinations. Now, the previous lesson was about permutations, order mattered, okay? And in fact, number one here is a kind of review problem. How many ways can the coach pick a captain and a co-captain from the uh, seniors Alex, Brad, Cameron, and Darius, okay? So in this case, you have four, and then you do your, your calculator NPR, two, and you will get 12. Now, I will say that I would accept if you went with the new lesson we're going with today, which is combinations, in which order does not matter. If you looked at this and said, well, captain and co-captain are kind of equal ranks. They're not like, you know, a president and vice president. If you did for NCR, which we're going to talk about here, two and got six, I would accept that because, you know, I can understand where you're coming from, okay? Because in this case, they're equal. But it is a ranking, so you would traditionally go NPR, okay? And if you see here, here's the layout of why it would be, um, 12. Okay, so that's the correct way of going about it, but I could understand why you might get confused and do it this way. Okay, now on number two, it says a principal is picking two seniors from four people. Okay, it's just two people. There's no ranking. Okay, so there's no, you're better than me, you're in charge and I'm helping you. It's just a rank, it's just equal. All right, so in this case, it would be for NCR2, which would give you six, and that shows you right here. So let's see how you do that in the calculator. It's very similar. You do the four, you go to math, PRB, and instead of hitting two, we're going to hit three, NCR, and there you go. There you have it. Okay, so moving on. Now, this is the, the formula. We did not go over the technical formula for uh, permutation because we don't need to use it because we're going to be using the calculator right here. Right? But the first way is the technical way we would do this. Okay? So if we had, you know, four, two, what we do is we put four uh, factorial over, you know, four minus two, which is two, and then this would be two. And that's why it ends up being a smaller number than uh, a permutation, because you're dividing by more numbers, okay? But we're just gonna use calculator to make our life easy. All right, so we're just gonna practice doing this on the calculator. I'm gonna do it a couple times, I'm just gonna fill it in, okay? So the first one, 12, 10. So again, we take our calculator, and we're gonna do 12, Math, PRB, 3, 10. And we get 66. Okay, 4, 0. So 4, math, and PRB, 3, 0, one way. Okay, and I'm just going to get, not going to do this again on the calculator. Notice what these have in common. They both, they all three have zero, okay? So in other words, saying, uh, find a combination of four objects, zero at a time. Okay, well, that's just one. There's only one way to do it, okay? So anytime you have a number, comma, zero, it's going to be one. If you have a number, comma, one, it's going to be whatever that number is. So for example, five, comma, one, which would be five NCR one would equal five. If it was six comma one, it would be six. Okay. If it's a number and the next number is one less, then it's going to end up being the number. So in, in other words, if you had 26 NCR 25, okay, if the number is one less, that's going to end up being 26. 
And if it's the number is the same here, it ends up being one. So if you had seven and C are seven, that would give you one, okay? So these are properties to know as a reference. Makes it, save you some calculation time. All right, Baskin Robbins has, uh, used to have 31 flavors. How many types of double scoop bowls are possible using two different flavors? Well, order doesn't matter because you're just gonna have two scoops side by side in a bowl. It doesn't matter what order they scoop it in. So that is 31 NCR2. And again, I've shown you plenty of times how to do that in the calculator. So that ends up being 465. McCarthy Brothers Construction Company needs to hire four new workers. So far, 16 people applied. How many different ways can they hire the four? So if just, they're just hiring four just basic workers, that is going to be 16 NCR4, and that means there's going to be 1,820 positions or combinations of it. Okay, But if you're hiring specifically these four positions, well, then that's going to be NPR. So we're going to choose number two on the calculator instead of number three. And again, when there's positions involved, the number gets a lot bigger, quicker. Okay? So remember, this is number three on the calculator, and this is number two under NPR. Number five. A child's piggy bank holds uh, a quarter, a nickel, a dime, and a penny. So there's four coins. If the kid shakes it so two coins come out, how many different pairs of different types of coins are possible? Well, there's four coins. We have two come out. Order doesn't matter. A quarter followed by a nickel is the same as a nickel followed by a quarter. Okay, 30 cents. So this is going to be NCR. There's six different ways the coins could come out. <laughs> All right, fan club has 22 members, 12 men, 10 women. How many different six person committees can be formed? Okay, well, that's just 22 people, six person committee, order doesn't matter, so that's NCR. That's gonna be 74,613, okay? Because the order does not matter. It's just people. Now, how many different six-person committees can be formed if men and women must be uh, equal? Well, in this case, we know there's 12 men and there's 10 women. Okay? If it's going to be equal, that means we're doing three Okay, of each. Now remember, we had this with um, permutations. Okay, the last example we had was if you're taking part, uh, you're doing a permutation or combination on one group and another one, and you're trying to find the total, you're gonna multiply these numbers. Okay, so this, the first one is gonna give you 220, and the second one is gonna give you 120. And when you multiply those, you're going to get 26,400. Now, let's look at how to do this. So, we can do 12 math, PRB, 3, and 3 again, and get our 220. Just get the number. And then do 10 math, PRB, 3 again, and 3 again. And get our 120 and then just multiply those or I like that way first better but or you can just do it this way but you got to remember parentheses so you got to do 12 math PRB 3 3 parentheses times parentheses 10 Math, PRB, pick number three, three. And you get the same answer. I prefer just doing it the first way myself. Uh, I don't have to worry about the parentheses and 
but it's up to you. Okay, how many six-person committees can be formed with exactly four men? Okay, so again, from the 12 men, NCR, we're picking four. That means from the 10 women, we're picking two. And again, we're going to multiply these. So we're going to do the same way. Get your two numbers if you want and multiply or just all enter it with parentheses. But when you do this, you'll get 22,275. How many six-person committees can be formed with all six women? Well, that's just, you're just going from the women. So it's just simply that. And that's going to be 210. You're excluding the men and just doing the six people from the women's group. How many two-person committees can be formed with either or? Now, remember, when you see either or, this is going to mean we're going to add the two, not multiply. So, we're doing 12 NCR 2, and we're going to add 10 NCR 2. And that gives us 111. Okay, so does order matter? If the answer is yes, you're either going to use slots or NPR, which I would just recommend that because it just makes life easier. If the answer is no, there's going to be NCR. Okay, so remember, order also rank. If there's a rank, yes. NPR. If there's not a rank, NCR. 